Uh, I did spend about 20 to 30 minutes last night having a beer with John Lynch. Yeah, Colin. Yesterday you were giving me a lot, a real hard time about my partying. And last yeah. night I went to the gym and to bed and you Had got in at 1130. Midnight. Oh, midnight. My bad. Well, I went to dinner with Bill Romanowski and his wife. Mm -hmm. Sat next to uh, Michael Irvin and Jim Gray was there okay. and a bunch of big shots, right? And uh, and um, so I'm sitting there and the, the dinner was late. The restaurant was really good, but they just got backed up. So I should have been out of there by 930. I didn't get out of there till about 11. And a nice restaurant. And then I came back over here and I was going to go up to my room. And there was a big group and it was my staff was over there all getting liquored up. And my staff's that got a bunch a of big drinkers on it. So everybody was there. And then I looked over and I saw the respected Albert Breer. I saw some very respectable people. Uh -huh. And I went over there to try to get some uh, scoops. And I did. <laughs> They're just trying to have a beer and you're over there no, fishing No, I was over there for fishing for uh, scoops. And then I saw okay. John Lynch and we talked for about 30 minutes okay. uh, about how he's going to build the 49ers. And um, very, very interesting. I gave him a little scoop on uh, a couple USC players. Mm. A little inside info. And it was very interesting. I, I, my takeaway is, and I, he's my friend, so I was just like, I wished him luck. And I'll say this, uh, remove that discussion last night, because we didn't talk about this, but one of the things that worries me about the 49ers is people constantly show you who they are. So believe them. Like Rex Ryan has shown you he's very emotional. Believe him. Jim Ursay, owner of the Colts, has shown you he's very impulsive. Um... Tom Brady has showed you he's very committed. Believe him. So Jed York has shown you time and time again that he will leak stuff. So believe him. When Harbaugh was about to get fired, there was all sorts of stories leaked in the press. Where did they come from? Jed York. Uh, when Chip Kelly got canned, where do they come from? Where were the leaks? Jed York. How do I know that? Because the one guy he handpicked, Jim Tom Sula, when he got canned, there was no leaks. Why? That was his guy. So I thought it was interesting, the John Lynch story, my takeaway on it, was that Jay Glazer broke the story. Uh, first of all, Jay's terrific. But second of all, John works with Jay, and John's very loyal to Fox. So John uh, and Jay have a relationship, and that's who should have broken the story. But virtually the very same second, a friend of mine who I admire a great deal, Adam Schefter, had the story after Jay, but by a second. So my question is, well, how do you get the story? They don't have a coach. They just had a GM who leaked the, how this, how that news get out to Schefter. Who's talking? You want to bet it's York. So my question is, I don't know. Is, I don't know. And I, this is no shot at Schefter. He breaks a zillion stories, but it just seems weird to me that, and I saw this with the Boston Red Sox for years, Terry Francona leaves. Suddenly there are stories. He's a drug addict is that certain organizations have a history of owners who leak stuff to the press. And the Boston Red Sox, a team you covered, has historically done this. And the 49ers, in my opinion, do this. And again, this is no shot at any reporter. We all need leaks. But I find my biggest concern for John is not John. John just had, uh, he just took away the director of college scouting for the Denver Broncos. Very, very good hire who's now going to be elevated to a VP overlooking the scouting. That's a huge hire. Uh, John Elway allowed John Lynch to pry away a very, very valuable guy, give him a big raise. So he's got his number one guy in order, and that will help John a great deal. He's got to find a quarterback, and he's got to rebuild uh, a lot of parts of that team. But it worries me with the 49ers that people show you who they are. And whenever I see 49ers stories, uh, some were leaked to my former employer. Some have probably been leaked to us. I just feel that I can't trust the guy owning that football team. He keeps showing me time and time again. It wasn't... Like, Glazer broke the story and should have, but Schefter was a second behind. Why was it so close? Who told him that? My question is, I, I, I'd i like to know. I don't want my owner talking to the press. It's the herd. Brought to you by 84 Lumber. Are you 84 material?